Daddy's dungeon. Daddy's what? The fuck is Daddy's dungeon? Daddy's dungeon. <laughs> Daddy's fucking dungeon. All of you. Daddy, chill. What the hell is even that? <laughs> But are you ready though? Like, are you ready? Or? Yeah, I'm ready. Episode 122, welcome back to Daddy Dungeon, everybody. Sometimes when I edit, I notice my mouth doesn't move very much, so it's hard to even tell if the audio is off or not. So I think I have to make a conscious effort to use my mouth more when I talk. What is that called? Like a ventriloquist? Ventriloquist. 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 Have, have you noticed that? Like when we edit? Well, my mouth actually fucking moves. Yeah, that's. but I said me, motherfucker. Did I say, yeah, yours does it too. I said, no, mine. My well, mouth doesn't move. Considering that we're all puppets in this fucking world, you know? Yeah, I think ventriloquism. I don't, maybe that's what it's called. Is that what it's called? <laughs> ventriloquism. <laughs> <laughs> Just fucking tie me up already. <laughs> Uh, wow, you're already getting started, huh? <laughs> <laughs> you're already getting started. <laughs> no, I haven't noticed that, actually. Watch, now, now mm-hmm. you're going to notice it. Yeah, now I'm going to notice like everything else that you said like that. It, it, that always happens. We say totally a lot, also. Totally is one of my favorite words in, this, totally. in the fucking English dictionary. <laughs> totally, bro. What's, what's the last FM on, t- on totally in the word? T- <laughs> oh, man, that's over 23,000 scrabbles for sure. <laughs> you know, those feet in my mouth totally, bro. Oh, my God. Oh, sorry. You just threw me way off track with that feet in the mouth shit. Speaking of feet, God sorry. Damn. I've been thinking that a lot. I've been thinking you about fucking, that a lot you lately. You threw me off track right there. Maybe not my mind. Murder on my mind because I'm going to kill the fuck out them feet. <laughs> Honestly, I, I came in here ready to have a great episode. And now I feel like... Uh, whoa, 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 let me stop you right like there. Nothing's, nothing's happening in my brain. Let me stop you right there. My you know, brain is blank. <laughs> my brain that, is like these walls. Everything that's white. going on in your brain is the, is the little monkey with the symbol. No, you instantly started off saying, like, feet, and it just threw me off. I mean, well, Lord knows I like a good-looking pair of feet. Lord knows, baby. You know what I'm saying? Not randos, though. Not randos. Be, not randos. Not randos. So be you look, have to know them? I don't be looking at randos feet you like that. You have to know them. No, it's not that I have to know them. It's my person's feet. You know what I'm saying? If they got a good looking set of fucking dogs on them, <laughs> god damn, I'm going to fucking eat the shit out of them. Fucking Call me fucking Zane Chow, baby. Let's go. Zane Chow? Yeah. That's right. Brother, I've been getting so much food shit that I want to try. It's not even funny. I've been getting that a lot lately, too. But I'm behind because all these fucking places, I'm like, they're so good. They're so good. Let me send them to my, to my food advocate, Dylan. Right? I know. Bro, that's the one I was telling you about. <laughs> Bro, that's the one I was telling you about. It's like, damn it, dude. I can't fucking get one for it's once. It's because they're listening to us. They're, you know what? You're totally right. The, so there is a place I want to try. Maybe next week. If you find advertisement, it's going to come week. up for me Holder, pretty maybe, soon. Hold it maybe next week. Long Beach. Chicago. OG, like, legit Chicago-style pizza in Long Beach. It looks delicious, baby. <coughs> delicious. <coughs> like, brother, after the show, oh, man, sign me up. How late does that place even stay open? Mm, no idea. Man, I got to get my stamina levels up, 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 dude. This past... I feel like my stamina levels be, be, be right on point. Okay, what kind, what, what kind of... We're not, talking, talking we're not talking about the same exercise. Oh, you're talking about sex here, huh? No. Oh. Because that's, I mean, that's really the only stamina I know, I know you'll be doing. <laughs> <laughs> the only cardio I know you'll be doing. I know I your big ass ain't hopping on the treadmill. Hey, I walk a lot. <laughs> 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 yeah, see, and I don't have sex at all. So, it's like, don't you think. Well, it's because you're straight edge. Like, fully 100. I abstain. <laughs> don't you think, don't you think with all this fucking, um. All this dancing and everything I'll be doing. Don't you think my stamina level should be? It's because you're not doing up, it every up, up. day. You're doing it in short burst throughout a week, once a week. Okay, very it's fair. It's not enough. Very fair, very fair, very fair. Right? Totally. Yeah, one hundred percent. Brother, I just have to. I just gotta ask you something. On the way home, were you mad at me for sleeping so much? No, not at all. I felt terrible. No, not at all, brother. I kept waking up, and I was like, oh, I can't stay awake. No, dude, I did not have a problem at all. I, I, you know, I made this, um, I made it 
Oh, well, clearly, I didn't make it clear <laughs> enough. <laughs> I told you, if you're getting sleepy at all, I have no problem taking over. So It was totally fine. So you had slept for about an hour and a half. Yeah. Okay. And that whole hour and a half, I was like, oh, fuck. And then it, it started getting so bad that when I had my eyes open... It was like a film grain over my fucking eyes. And I was like, I can't see. I can't see. In my head, I was like, I can't see. And then I was like, and I nodded off and I woke up. It was a film grain. And I was like, okay, I got to pull over. And then you're like, yeah, I'm going to drive. I think you drove like an hour. Hour or so. Oh, yeah. Something like, I think, it, but yeah, roughly. So after that, we like, that was probably like the best slash worst nap of my life. No, 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 no. <laughs> that was the worst nap of my fucking life. Worst. W O R S T the worst. Capitals. Period you, at the you end. You woke me up like like six minutes before the alarm went off, which pissed me off by the way. Um six minutes is a lot. I did not wake you up. You did? No, I I think it was the door opening and all that stuff that woke you up. What, did somebody me, try to open the door? Me personally, I didn't wake you up. Oh, okay. So I you were getting I, out. I was, get, I was trying to fucking... Survive. Survive, dude. I was dying <laughs> in that hot box. Brother, it's three... It's like three in the morning. And it's still 90 degrees? What the fuck is that? Yeah, man. And I, we're, are we going to sleep with the car on, with the AC on? Fuck no. For three hours? Are you fucking... Did we sleep for three hours? We slept a damn good, t- damn good time, I'll tell you that. No. At least two. Oh my god! Uh, at least two, because I, I remember you put your you put your uh-huh. alarm for three fifty. Uh huh. I specifically remember three fifty. Yeah, but I remember I stopped driving at one thirty, like exactly like one thirty three. The time said. No, then that yeah. couldn't have been right. Yeah. Our timeline is way off. Couldn't have been right. We didn't sleep for fucking fifty minutes. I think if I, we did. If I drove for an hour and a half, that puts us at three already. No, no way. I did not feel that good after a fifty minute nap. Brother, we left Waffle House at twelve o'clock. I felt great after that nap. I did feel good, but extremely fucking sweaty. I woke up completely <clears throat> drenched in sweat, and you were worse. Like you had just taken a shower. Yeah. Like you, I literally remember looking at you. You had like beads of sweat going down all over your face. Dude, my hair was prickly pine. I, was, I felt terrible. I was like, oh my god, he's dying. He's yeah. gonna die. No, I hope you felt fucking terrible. <laughs> I was dying. <laughs> I was like, Oscar's gonna fucking die. Oscar's dead. Dude, and we just kept driving. We didn't even get, like, no water or nothing. What, 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 what do you want us to do? You know, we got to fucking get home. <laughs> what do you want us to do? Okay, so hi- highlight of the trip, besides the show. I thought the show was amazing. It was a great show. Highlight of this trip? Honestly, dude, I really enjoyed Long Legs. What? We watched Long Legs. I really enjoyed it. Oh. You know what I'm saying? Arizona, kind of funky. Well, at least that area that we yes, went to. Yes, because I was told that that area is ass before I would, even going there. Um, I, I And if I'm judging strictly off of that area... Ass. I'm not living in you, Arizona. <laughs> <laughs> I am not living in you. Sorry to say, but step your game up. Step your pussy game up. That shit was wack. Get your money up, not your funny up, boy. See, like, it said there was a mall and all these stores were open, and there was just a bookstore. Imagine only having a bookstore in your city. Hey, some studious ass fools, for real. But see, the thing is, the colleges do not match up to only having a bookstore. Now, these motherfuckers are so bored by the time they get to college, they're forced to make us a party school. You know what I'm saying? You think that's why Arizona State is like the biggest party school in the country? I I don't know why that is. Why do you think that is? Why is it Arizona the hot spot for fucking for? It's sunny all year round, baby. What does that mean, though? Shirts off, tits out, baby, all, all year. <laughs> <laughs> like, go to Boston, bro. It's like negative two degrees at sometimes. You but think, see... You, th- I, you think bitches want to go out negative two degrees? But Fuck I would no. imagine... I would imagine... Those, those nipples are so rock hard all the time. They want some warmth on it. They need to be exposed. You Why? get what I'm saying? Why? Because I mean, if, if they're already popping out of your shirt, like fucking... And I'm not just speaking women here. I'm speaking dudes, too. There's some boys with the puffy nipples. They will get hard. And <laughs> they will pop out their shirts. I have no feeling in my nipples. I have extreme feeling in my nipples now. More than I did before. I wouldn't say extreme, actually. I'll take that back. Um, if I'm scaling it on a... If, if I'm rating <laughs> it on a scale of 1 to 10, uh, the feeling in my nipples... 
It's a good eight. <laughs> and I dig it. <laughs> so, so your favorite part was lawn legs. Yeah, I would say so. Because I was just editing the pod like yesterday, and I was like, honestly, brother, I ain't watching that shit. I ain't watching that shit. I'm glad I forced you to watch it. Yeah, I... It was more of a forced watch. It was No, it wasn't a forced watch. It was kind of like a forced watch. Yes, actually, it was. It was nice, though. It was totally nice. But... I didn't see as much of the devil stuff as you said. I think in about like a, a week or so, a lot of stuff will be out on TikTok and stuff. I can start looking that up. <laughs> so, Ugh. I was looking in the background the whole time. Yeah, see, and, and, and you had the, the privilege to do that because this you was your exactly, second time uh-huh, to see it. Uh-huh. I didn't. But although I did spot it a couple times. Like what? The, the, the devil in the background. Well, like you spot it like when the door closed and shit like that. That's like obvious. I saw a bunch of obvious shit. But in the background, I was like, where's the devil? I did see the animal doll. I did not see that. I did and not I was see like, that. The animal doll. Yeah, I saw the animal doll in the corner of, of a room when they were laying in the bed together. The mom and the, and the daughter. Yeah, that's very sketchy. Um, but you think that's real with like detectives and stuff like that? They kind of got that 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 hunch, that like feeling that probably like a gut feeling that runs down their spine when something like that is gonna happen. Because you know she was yeah. she was as green as can be. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. She she just got on. They were it's like, it seemed like they were fucking Mormons going door to door. I just that wonder thing. why she didn't go with them. Just like yo, I gotta, you know. Oh, you should have got got too, because by the time she pulled her gun out, pff, dead. Well, because because the dude told her he was like, "Oh, just stay here. I'll go ahead and do the do the damn thing." You know what I mean? Okay, and then question: If you're leading, spoiler alert. Yeah. <laughs> Fat spoiler <Hold> alert. <laughs> spoiler alert. <laughs> <laughs> or for me, it's just that no yeah. fucking mouth moving. Ventriloquism. <laughs> Arizona autism. <laughs> oh, oh man, you just had to be there for that one. Like <laughs> it had to be there. Yeah. What were you? What were you talking about? The full spoiler? Oh. If you're looking for a fucking serial killer, why are you knocking on somebody's door like, "Oh, it's the FBI looking for a serial killer"? Fucking idiot. Yeah, well, that's not. I'd be like, "Hey, uh, I'm here to sell you the Book of Mormon, son." You know what I'm saying? Some Mormonism shit. Um, that's natural selection for you, brother. And honestly, actually, am I spoiling the whole fucking movie? It's been off for two months, bro. No, I'm not even gonna spoil it. This will be an afterthought when we edit. We'll remind ourselves for me to tell you this. What there I was you gonna go, say there you go. about the main character. There you go. Being a bitch. But yeah, there you go. Hey, I heard that people are like proud of her. I guess because this is like like her biggest role so far because she's been coming up in the horror movie films. I've I ain't never, never heard her. of her. Yeah, I ain't never heard of her. Because I was looking at some shit on Long Days, and they were like, yeah, I'm so happy for her. She's been in some, she's been coming up in the horror films, and this is her, her star film now. It was dope. You know what, though? It, uh, yeah, you know, I'm not going to say anything else on it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but I will say about her, um, I did like her role. I thought her acting was very, very, very well. And, um, but I will say Mia Goth got her by a long shot, personally. Who's Personally, that? Mia Goth. That's Maxine. That's um, X. X. Yes, okay. Mia Goth. See, but but her her roles are a lot different. Very very different. Yes, very. See, like hers is like some OG horror film shit. You know, that's what those are the vibes I get from those movies. But you didn't see Maxine, did you? No. Okay, yeah, that's completely different. The problem is, like, I I kept like if you look at my AMC A list thing, it's like reserved, canceled, reserved, canceled, reserved, canceled. It, shit just kept coming up. See, and you know what? And if and if you keep doing that, at some point, you just got to accept it's just not meant to be. It wasn't meant to be, so it's, I just stopped. It's just not meant to be. Long Legs had to cancel on it once. Went back, though. You want to why I had to cancel on it? We planned to go. And it was after I was going to drop off the baby. And then the baby mom texted me. She's like, oh, yeah. Uh, we're going to watch a movie tonight, blah, blah, blah. And then I was like, okay, so you're going to take the baby to the movies, Whatever. I would take the baby to watch Long Legs. Fuck yeah. No, and then she goes, oh no, she's going to stay with my mom. We're going to go watch this movie at 1020. And I was like, I'm supposed to go watch a movie at 1020 in my head. And I walked right back inside to my girl. I was like, we're not fucking going. Couldn't go to a different movie theater? Dude, the movie was sold out. It was uh, like it was like opening weekend for the movie. It was, uh, so like when we went to get our tickets, we literally got like some of the last seats in the theater. And it was at the same fucking time. And I was like, I'm not even risking it. You can't be bound 
by insignificant people in this world, Dylan. The thing is, I just don't want to just be around her. You can't be bound by insignificant people in this world, Dylan. That's a really good fucking... Your confidence is power in this hell, Dylan. Are these lyrics, or are we going to cut this out and write this shit down? The second one is lyrics, but the first one is just... We're cutting it out. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, though. <laughs> yes. No, I understand, but it's just like... I just don't want to have to deal with that. You know? I really don't. Don't want to have to deal with that. At all. Zero. Very fair. Very fair. It's like a pesky fly fucking flying around you whenever you're cooking up some raw fucking steak. Sometimes you just got to fucking give it a good smack. Oh my God. And, and, and leave it and leave it on the fucking window. Not with doing, the gut not doing that. This is all him, not me. This is all him, not me. And I'm talking about the fly. <laughs> Yo, I smelled that from here, brother. <laughs> <laughs> That's the smell of the devil himself. God damn. Yeah, the movie was great. My favorite part of the trip... Um... Not the drive, that's for sure. No. <laughs> oh, fuck. The drive there was fine, though, for sure. Yeah, easy. AC kicked ass. It was like God tier until we turned off the car. Yeah. We should have never turned off that car to put gas. Yeah, we, we... You could put gas with the car on. Yeah, yeah. Light a cigarette, <laughs> even. But, um, yeah, the, the trip there was great. Honestly, no no complaints. Um, Hoser edited the whole fucking pod on the way there. It's fucking awesome. Good shit, baby. Oh, uh, okay. And it was kind of cool the whole way. And then the second we hit, like, Indio, 92 degrees outside at 6 in the morning. Are you shit my dick? Hey, but did we expect differently? No. No. But, uh, yeah, overall, good trip. Um, but my favorite part was Waffle House, where it was just me and you there. You know, just right there in the bar store. Was it? I mean, there was there was others there, but they were having their own conversation. No, I mean that was your favorite part. Yeah. Man, that was some good uh, Waffle Houses. They doing they doing something different. I'm glad I saw the add-ons because that add-ons like fucking blew it to a different level. Yeah, dude, they know what they're doing. Dude, they know what they're doing. And uh, so the that waitress that was sitting in front of us eating that that food, she had chili on her shit. And that's when I told you, like, hey, we got to ask them what they get. See, I don't know if I'd, I'd want to add that, really. No, no, but I'm saying, like, not, like, I'm sure it's good. But, like, go ask a cook, like, yo, bro, when you're on your break, what do you order? I want that. Chef it up for me, baby. Yes. Like, yo, give me that. I feel like that would be dang sauce. Oh, you know. Because oh, well. they work there, and they're like, you know what? Because, like, when I was at Subway, brother, I had my shit to a T, my perfect sando. You know? Yeah, 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 totally. To a tea. So, like, I'm sure they got the same shit. They're eating there every day, doing their thing. They know all the secrets, you know? Totally. But, yeah, that shit was dank sauce. Low point of my trip? Wendy's. The oh. fattest, the fattest fucking hair. It wasn't a little fucking hair. This hair was thick. This boy was healthy. It was not that big. It was be real. thick as hell. I've had fatter hairs come out of my fucking food. It was fucking... This I, hair was hey, not lengthy. You did convince me to eat it, though, but every time I was taking a bite, it just didn't hit. It wasn't lengthy. The hair was not lengthy. It was thick, though. And I did see it something... Pu- it was pubescent. I did see something in my, in my burger that wasn't... Um, that seemed a little foreign. Eh, I said, fuck it. <laughs> that shit was good. Tell you what, though, they got to serve on fries all day. Whatever but, those were. Well, no, but see, the thing is, they're wedges, right? Okay. But the thing is, Wendy's, uh, they're, they're, they ain't new to the game, man. They're top tier fast food. They know, they know what they're doing. They've been doing it forever. And Wendy, whoever this bitch is, <laughs> fuck, I want to meet her. <laughs> Can I have an autograph? Um,. Honestly, I gotta try their breakfast from our Wendy's, you know, but the Wendy's up here. Well, you getting the one down there or one up here? I go both. They they both about the same, do you? Well, which one's better? The geographical differences, just based off that alone, I will say the, the one up here is better. Geographical differences? Yeah. What do you? What does that mean? What's well, nicer up here? Oh, so that makes it better. What about Master Burger, brother? Well, everything, everything is a. Uh, all of my senses have to do with everything. I get okay. Yeah, you know I guess you're right. I guess you're right. But like down there, you can get Wendy's and Dunkin' at the same time. But I'm not doing that. I'm. Uh, when am I ever doing that? I'm never doing that. Brother, that never a, even. You just found out their breakfast existed, baby. But that's never even a thought in my head to get Dunkin' and fucking Wendy's at the same time. 
And it just seems like such a drag <laughs> going through more than one drive through at once. Okay, okay, but okay, so if you had if you were craving that, like, hey, I want I want my Dunkin' Coffee and I want my Wendy's. But the thing is Which that, one are you going to first? Which one which one am I going to first? Dunkin'? Totally. I, totally agree with you. I always get the big boy anyways. I'll probably be like just a fucking sliver below the lid and then I'll already be getting my food. Fresh. Hot as can be, because Wendy's got it like that. They're they're Always fresh, it. never frozen. Supposedly. Supposedly. Hey, but maybe we should work there just to see. Nah. No thanks. I've had my fair share of what's, fast food. What's next for us in the dungeon? What do you think? What, today? No, what's our next big big thing that we're doing? What are you talking about? I gotta fucking... I gotta dump something pretty big. It's been brewing the whole ride home. Why didn't you fucking take a shit? I literally told you, brother, you can go home. I got nothing. I said, dude... That's what you get for not answering my text. Okay? No, I read that. Yeah, you know, like an hour later. Bitch. Bitch. I also did like our couple fighting on the um, on that whole trip. That was fun. I enjoy a little bickering. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I do. Step up to the plate then. <laughs> when the pressure comes, step up to the plate. I felt like I did step up to the plate. Hit homers. And you fucking pushed me. That shit hurt it. Did. By the way, I've stained. Make a super hot fire. Mm. Exactly what I exactly what I pictured. Not really, in the in that setting with the lights off and shit. And Yo, uh, that was super dope though. Super super dope. But shout out. When I saw them in Long Beach, just like Torina, did not appreciate day ass. San Diego straight edge, fucking hot. January thirteenth. It was like a birthday show for me, pretty much. It came up in my memories, like oh, on this day, random. The backyard show. Yeah. Oh wow. So, didn't really appreciate them. Didn't know them as much. But yeah, dude, the fucking show was sick. The show was sick. Sick. Loved it. Can't wait to see him again. Duh. Next week, baby. But, uh, again, that mic's gonna be a little different, though. These California boys different out here. Oh, yeah, yeah, totally. Especially at this show. I feel like this show's gonna be a banger. Oh, yeah. All of the ones we got on the fucking... On the roundup were bangers. Totally. Yeah. I forgot that was on the roundup. No, I didn't. Whatever. Banger show. <laughs> on, yeah, Waffle House was lit. Twelve dollars. If you just get the base thing, it's eleven ninety five. You can't beat that. Grits are dank too. Their grits are good. First time I ever tried grits, and they're good. But did you like? Them? I totally. I just said they're good. Yeah, I I just cut you off. See, I'm not the I'm not a fan of hash browns. So if there's always another option, I will pick that. Oh brother, I'm totally a fan of hash browns. Because sometimes they just don't have any flavor. You know. Okay. Like even if I put salt and shit on them, it just tastes like nothing. Like it tastes like they're frozen. But maybe there they're not frozen. What do you think? What do you think? Frozen or not, they're fucking dank. Do you know and how to make hash browns? I know how to make my version. They're really fucking easy. I don't know how to make them like that, but I know how to make my version. Well, how do you make your hash browns? I just um, fucking... I use a cheese grater, grate yes, the potato. Uh -huh. I just make a pancake. Do you uh, ring, ring it out? No. You're supposed to. Try it. We're supposed to. So, like, get a paper towel. Get, like, a hand... Like, how much, how much potato you just grate it out... And just squeeze it, and all that moisture will come out, and they'll get extra crispy. Really? Oh yeah. Whoa, you might be fucking See, opening I a like door to a new world. I like those hash browns. Like if I were to make it myself. But if I were to make it myself, yeah. Sorry, they gotta move from time to time, you know. I'm almost there. I don't have that long, luscious hair I did before, and you're saying to bring it back. Brother, I. People don't get to see this photo. This is our photo. But Hoser had this. No, but the thing is, they saw it. When? Every fucking week. <laughs> That's when. No, no, no. They saw you, how I'll, like, I'm going to describe it, but they don't have this exact photo. Okay, yes. Okay. This photo is legendary. It's all right. This photo is great. Oh. It's fucking great. I'll send it to baby mama, see what she thinks. You haven't sent it to her yet? No. You kidding me? You kidding Dug. me? Are you kidding me? Send that shit right now, brother. And she'll, fall, live and she'll fall in love with the past me, not the current me. That was deep. Think I want that? No. Nah. Huh? <laughs> no. Nah, in fact, so. But yeah, dude, you just had this luscious hair, and like you had like this lat, this lat spread kind of pose. And you're like, it was awesome. It was a great pick. Great pick. He doesn't like when people gas him up like that, you know. It's foreign. It's it, very foreign. I feel like for men. Very foreign. I don't get complimented much. I, I get complimented sometimes, and I don't know how to... Like, I've talked to you about this before. It's like, I just make a joke out of it. I don't know how to not 
joke about it. I'll just be like, okay, like, yeah, I'm sure, dude. <laughs> okay, next. <laughs> so, like, what I usually do, like, when I get confident, I'm like, I just make fun of them. Like, I'll just say it back. I'll be like, arr, arr, like or just like roll my eyes or some shit. Like, oh, yeah, sure. Like, some fucking dumbass shit. Hmm. Yeah, it just doesn't come around every, uh, every so often. You know what I'm saying? I think everyone should compliment their boys more often. You know what I'm saying? Boys should be complimented more often. Just in general? I think Would so. Would you like to be cat cold? Uh, like if I'm walking down the street? <laughs> That's what it is. <laughs> How often is it happening? To guys? No, well, to me in this scenario. Like, is it every time I step out on the street? Or? <laughs> <laughs> like, okay, for example, you've seen that video where there's a girl walking down the street in New yes, York. Yes, And she's recording herself. Yeah, and she's getting cat called every three seconds. Yeah. Dude, she, that's some fucking, that's some New York shit, though. That's some bitch-ass shit. That's some dirtbag-ass shit. Do people do that over here? Like, I don't, I've never seen that. I and mean, we thought we saw that in Arizona, and we both, like, stopped. But it was his, it was her husband yeah, or boyfriend. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> He's like, hey, sexy. And I was like, oh, hold on. Lady walking by herself. Go get her. Let's go get her. Let's go protect her. But uh, would I would I say, I would would say I like it's not it? every time, but I would say it's kind of frequently. Not every day. I would say, like, maybe a once or twice a week thing randomly. I think I would like it at first, but it would get old. Yeah. You know what Took I mean? Off. It would get old. Off. But you know what I want? I want my old lady cat calling me like that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Pretty good cat. That is a really good cat, actually. I've been practicing. A starving fucking cat, at least. There's a cat that gets fed once a week. <laughs> and that's Ginger, and is named after a seven foot two black man. <laughs> hey, I've been feeding it three times a day. So this cat be loving me, brother. Yeah. Every, every time I get home, this cat goes. I hope so. You're a blessing for this man. It's because I always catch the cat eating my dog's food when the dog's done eating, you know? That's a sign. You know, and like, I tell her, it's like, hey, bro, I think your cat's hungry. And she's like, it's fine. What am I supposed to do then? You know, it's not my fucking cat. I did talk her into getting it, though, so this is my fault. <laughs> I don't mind feeding the fucker. Because I already make the dog's food, so I might as well just fucking yeah, might make as well. extra. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Because if... Literally, the dog's food is pumpkin, no sugar, like pumpkin puree, uh, carrots, spinach, ground turkey. That's it. Now, this is that bougie shit. You know? It, it ain't no more fucking dry food. And then we put kefir milk on top with some like of this oil. Wow. You yeah. really be on that shit. You really be on that shit. <laughs> hey, good for that dog, though. You know what this I mean? This fucking dog's eating a shit ton, though. God damn, brother. God damn. I gotta get more food. I just made food last week. This shit's supposed to last two weeks. I last said one did. I gotta double up. That's crazy. That is crazy. Kefir milk's expensive. <laughs> and what pisses me off is that this dog... Kefir milk uh, is good, though. Have you tried it? Oh, yeah. I, 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 really? I, I drank it for like a good three months straight. Oh, I never tried it. It looks too thick. It's just as good. It's actually better than store, like normal milk. Do you mix like protein in it or just straight up? Just straight up. I, what I would do is I would have a glass, a straight up glass of that in the morning and before bed. Wow. Just because I felt like it would get me real hearty and healthy, you know what I'm saying? Did it? I don't know. It was good. <laughs> but I think I did it. I didn't do it regularly enough to notice. Okay. You know what I'm saying? But I think yeah. that's the shit that them Amish motherfuckers be drinking. And you know them Amish, man. Hey, dude, 12 hours, one whole ass building? You know them Amish. They... They got it down to a T. I'm not just talking about their work ethics. I'm talking about their, their sexo. fucking strength. And I bet sex. you those guys... And their sex. <laughs> um, I bet you those guys have insane natural strength. And giant cocks. Have you seen the video of the little five-year-old Amish boy going to the parts store? Never. It's like the cutest thing ever. It's like this guy, and the guy already knows, like, the, it's like a small town, obviously, Amish. But this store is not Amish. And this is little kid dressed in Amish clothing, and he just holds his bag out, and the guy already knows what he wants. He's like, here you go. Drops in the bag, and the kid's barefoot just running down the street. What does he give him? Some parts. Oh, some par automotive parts. It looked like uh, lumber parts, like building stuff for building. Mm, okay, okay. Okay. And this little kid's just five years old running down the street. It's fucking the awesome. It's like literally just boom, rounds the corner, force gum type shit, just gone. It's awesome. See that? I mean, that's a that's a it's a nice way to live, but also not. 
You know what I mean? Well, they've never experienced what we've experienced. Mm-hmm. So but, they, it's but, probably the best way to live. But the thing is, it teaches them a lot about, like, just being a hard worker and, and like, having morals, yeah. and, you know, and just being a good person. That's what this world fucking needs, baby. More Amish people. But I think, um, y- you know, give me an Amish guy on my crew. I'll fucking get rid of three guys. T- totally. <laughs> Totally. <laughs> Give me an Amish dude. Just one. Just one. Replaces three of them. <laughs> <laughs> Let's run it, baby. If there's any Amish guys looking for work, hit me up. Hit my line. Actually, I don't have that kind of authority, but we'll get you in. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> so speaking about like hard working and shit, not me, but I was at work, right? And then the uh, HR ladies like in my area like working and shit because we had like inventory recently. And every time she comes, like, audit, I, I like, reorganize her shit. Because to me, it's, like, so bad. And, like, anytime someone's in there, I, like, reorganize it. Mm -hmm. So I'm, like, kind of, like, shadowing her so she doesn't fuck up. And then she goes, have you ever taken a personality test? And I was, like, what the fuck is that? And she was, like, oh, just kind of, she's, like, you're very interesting to me. And I was, like, why? She was, like, I don't know, you're kind of, like, because at work, I don't talk. I'm just like, yep, you okay? Yep. That's it. Just yes. Yes. That's it. Just straightforward. No one knows if I'm upset or not. Just work, you know? So she's like, you're very like, like you're like an odd character. I don't know anything about you. I can't get a read on you. And then she's like, you're so organized too. Like you always like, every time I come, you get me an order like every time. Which this is the third time. I feel like you should fucking be an order already. Why do I have to organize it for you again? You know what I'm saying? Well, to add to that, I think at that point, it's kind of like... Um, but she's only there like once every three months. Okay. Just to audit the inventory. All right, yeah. And um, you might be kind of... Yes, she totally should get her shit in order, right? But... Oh, I know Dylan will do it. Maybe subconsciously. No, so, but the thing is, is that uh, she's already doing it. Like, because... Uh, Especially in inventory, I'm in go mode. Just like the faster we're done with counting everything, the faster I get to go home. Right, right, right. So I counted like so much shit yesterday. And then I was like, just go, just go. And I just saw like she had papers here, papers there, papers here. And I was like, I was like, why don't you just like when you're done auditing that page, just flip it over and put it on the backside one this way and then one vertical. So, you know, like what's what? She's like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I reorganize that shit, you know? Simple shit, but I'm just in go mode. Like, let's go, let's go, let's go. Hurry up, hurry up, get the fuck out of here. Audit this shit already. But yeah, so she's the one that told me about personality test. And that's why I sent it to you. Because now I'm kind of interested to see, like, well, what my daddy is all about. Why am I a hard read? Uh, no. Uh, it's, you're very, con- it's very confusing for you. So I'm a hard read. Is that, that's what you're trying to say? No, no, no. So with, with me, no. With other people, yes. I feel like with other people, you're very held back and very just like, what's up, bro? Yeah. And then with me, it's like, come here, daddy. You know? It's different. It's different. Just like me. Okay. Okay. You know? But like, I feel like I'm more extroverted than you. You think so? I would totally say so. (laughs) (laughs) Okay. So we took this fucking test, (laughs) right? And and, um, we took a screenshot of our results. I've yet to hear yours. You've you've yet to hear mine. (laughs) Honestly, let's see. You want to go first or me? Uh, let's go. Let's go. Rock paper scissors. See who goes first. Uh, best best two and three. three. And then we're gonna do rock paper scissors shoot or rock paper shoot. Rock paper scissors shoot. Okay, ready? Okay, first off, you said rock paper. Rock, rock paper, paper shoot. shoot. Yeah. Who the fuck does that? I used to do that. Rock paper shoot. It's faster. I hate doing all three. Rock paper scissors shoot. Okay. Okay. Rock, rock paper, paper scissors, scissors shoot. shoot. Fuck yeah. Okay, ready? Rock, rock paper, paper scissors, scissors shoot. shoot. Fuck Bitch. yeah. All right. So, so you go first. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, we didn't even determine that. Okay. I'll just go first. Fuck it. No, no, okay, fair. Go ahead. Okay. So I got executive or ESTJ T. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck that is. ESTJ T. Okay, so executive. That's my personality trait. My personality type. And it says executives are excellent organizers, unsurpassed at managing things or people. Okay. Fair. Fair. Like when we do the pot shit, I feel like I'm pretty like on you. Okay. Like with the steps and shit, you know? Uh huh. Okay, ready? P. 
People with the executive personality type are representatives of tradition and order, utilizing utilizing their understanding of what is right and wrong and socially acceptable to bring families and communities together. That's a little too vague, in my opinion. I feel like I'm just good at organizing shit. Like, let's just get this shit done, you know? Okay. Um, embracing the values of honesty and dedication... Executives are valued for their mentorship mindset and their ability to create and follow through on plans in a diligent and efficient manner. They will happily lead the way on difficult paths and they will they won't give up when things become stressful, which is very true, I think. Okay. About me. I'll just keep going. I just I'm going. I'm in go mode. Executives are classic images of the model citizen. They call me a bitch? I didn't read this far. They call me a bitch. So what's a model citizen? I, okay. They help their neighbors uphold the law and try to make sure that everyone participates in communities and organizations that they are that they hold so dear. I don't... See, but I don't think I do that. I don't think I do that. Are you a fucking morality cop? Huh? <laughs> I, I really don't think I do that. I would say that I'm very organized and like... Especially if there's a plan, like what I need to do, done. It's easy. It's easy for me. You like to stick to that plan. I like to stick to the plan, and if I get it done fast, I'll just do more. Uh-huh. Just get like, oh, I'll just get this shit done for tomorrow. Easy. You know? Shit like that. So it seems like you're thinking about this in a work setting. Yeah, that's how I was thinking about it. Okay. Did you, were you thinking about that when you were taking this test? More work? Well, some of the questions life? I felt like did pertain more to work. Than social life, but then I also think about my social life as well. Uh huh. Okay. Because it it said I was like fifty four percent extroverted. Because I do at times like oh I'll go talk to him, and then there's also times where it's like I don't talk to nobody today. I'm just in the corner. Leave me alone. Uh, in my head, I'm thinking about shows. You know. Totally. The hell do I know? <laughs> <laughs> like, like uh. Sometimes I don't want to fucking talk to nobody. That's how I feel. Just leave me the fuck alone. Very fair. Yeah. I mean, you don't, don't got to talk to everybody all the time. No. All so, right. on a scale of 1 to 10, how, how accurate would you say that was? I'd say it's about a 7. About a 7? Yeah. Okay, pretty good. Pretty good. I would say that it's pretty accurate, but there's some things that are a little too vague. But, I mean, obviously, the, the, the more in-depth and lengthier these questions and tests are... Uh-huh. The, the more in-depth, yeah. <clears throat> the more in-depth... The answer I thought it, it was, would be. I thought it was pretty long, though, you know? It was, all but right. the thing is, I would want to do it with, like, a like a psychiatrist or something. Yes. To, so they could really tell me what's wrong yes, with me. Not yes. even what's wrong with me, what I am. Like some goodwill hunting type shit. I've never seen that. Is that what they do? Um, well, there are some pretty deep therapy sessions. Okay. And I would highly recommend that movie since you haven't watched it. Amazing movie. That's with Matt Damon? And Ben Affleck? That's with Matt Damon, Ben Affleck, and with... Um, Robin Williams. Robin Williams. Wow. Yes. Yeah, I need to watch that shit. It's a great movie. Great, great movie. And that was like their first film, right? Don't know. It's Good. a great one. Let's see what Hoser is. It's a great one. But, um, well, it said that my personality type is an advocate. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> live by the X, baby. I-N-F-J-A, <laughs> who knows what that means. <laughs> But advocates are quiet visionaries, often serving as inspiring and tireless idealists. Well, where the fuck the idea is at, baby? So what <laughs> INFJ is, I is for introverted, N intuitive, F is for feeling, and J is for judging. Wait, it said that shit on there? Totally did. Oh, dude, I didn't know that. And, uh, aww. Mm-hmm. INFJ personalities might come across as somewhat reserved, but they are fueled by a profound internal passion stimulated by deep reflective thought and an enormous amount of empathy. They dedicate themselves to the pursuit of purpose. Honestly, that they, it's like they could have just listened to like us talking in the car and just totally understood you. Like, you, totally just listen. <laughs> you think so? Dude, we were talking about what hardcore is to us, and you are talking about how it's like... It, has a, it needs to have a meaning behind it. And you're very to yourself. Very to yourself. But you're very driven on your goal. Depends on the goal, though. <laughs> really. It, de- it depends on the goal. But, um... Uh, yes, you're right, Hoser. It's because I deleted it. Okay. I mean, I, I would say that it, uh... 
I'd give it a I'd give it a eight five. On how close it was. On to how you? close it was. Yeah, totally, totally, totally. Yeah, I would say so. So this is what mine mean. Okay, so it's energy, identity, mind, nature, and tactics. That's what mines were. And titties. And titties. You know, put that under mine as well. <laughs> <laughs> titties was at 100% growth rate, baby. But yeah, um, honestly, I don't think that personality test mm-hmm. is what the lady was describing to me, the HR lady. Mm-hmm. I feel like I needed more than that. I'd really like for us to one day find a psychiatrist and say, hey, can we record this? And like we actually do a video on it. That'd be sick. That would be badass. And then at the end of the video, he tells us like what our real personality is. But then again, you have to think about how deep they're going to go into your brain. No, nah, I feel like and, they're going to be kind of questions like that. Okay. You know? Because we're not doing like a therapy session. We're just trying to figure out our personality. Right, right. You know, but maybe a therapy session would be good. Daddy maybe, said he does therapy. <laughs> maybe we need that. DD does therapy. Um, but yeah, I mean... I don't. I don't know. I I would say it's uh. I would agree with it because I am very to myself. Uh-huh. I am very to myself. Not that I prefer to be by myself. Yes, actually, I prefer to be by myself most of the time. <laughs> um, really, just give me my earphones and I'm happy. Yeah. You know, <laughs> um, whether there's people around me or not, you know. I'm just kind of like, oh, just let me do my own thing. You're in your own bubble. Yeah. Just let me do my own thing. And that's it. There, speaking about doing your own thing, this is like a, a hoser meme, I guess. Like, <laughs> Whenever you tell me that you're not going to mosh tonight, I think you mosh the hardest. Not true. You've told me that twice. And then maybe this, like, this past weekend, that was this weekend? Yes. Okay. Yes, this yes, past yes. weekend, it was hot as fuck. So no one, your shirt's gonna get drenched regardless, even if you're walking, you know. But you did it before, and I was like, "Hey, we're gonna mosh, brother." And then you're like, completely drenched. And then at the pharmacy, you're like, I'm done moshing. And then you moshed hard as fuck again. Had to go through another shirt, baby. Yeah. You know. Sometimes the the, it the, just, the yeah. energy just consumes you. It's like you know the Holy Spirit, baby. The energy just consumes you, and um, you gotta throw your fucking. You got to throw what you tell yourself out the window. <laughs> is, there, is there a band that you will always mosh for till the day you die? A band I will always mosh for till the day I die? Um, or, or were we talking like local band or like... No. Any band. Death Threat. Yeah. I hear Death Threat, I'm going to mosh. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> if I hear Death Threat, I'm going to mosh. Whether it's a cover, whether it's a real thing. I really wanted that Death Threat cover. Hey, the, the Hey Breed cover always hits. He is right. Singer is right. But I was excited for the Death Threat cover. I hear Death Threat, I mosh. It's that simple. It's that simple. Do you think Disgrace is like the perfect Death Threat cover song? Or do you think there's a better song that, they could, that people could do? It's all, it's all subjective. It's all subjective. But personally... Let's see. Let's see. Let see. Um, I like Peace and Security the best. I like... Um, like the album, I like it the best. But I like also, I think that might be my favorite song. No, my my favorite song. Mm. I love the sappy, sad song. The fucking. I like Dead at Birth. I you, like you the, like Nowhere Fast. The love song. Is that Never Again? You're the one. <laughs> oh, totally. Okay, you wanna know what's funny? <laughs> Whenever I hear that song, I think about you. Why is that? Am I the one to you, baby? <laughs> Yeah, totally. I know, I know. I literally think about that, and, I, and then it makes me think about you. I, it really, really does. I just want you to know that. Okay, that's good to know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh that's man. That's good to know. But, I mean, we're not done with the tests talking here. Yeah, we did another test, and I feel like these tests describe me way much better. This is a, 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 a V2. We've taken this test before. Pod lore. And if you know, you just know. But just know... This is the second time that we've taken this test, the second time we're going into it. Now, we're going to go ahead and do rock, paper, scissors, shoot again. Okay. And this is for who's going first? This is, no, winner decides okay. who goes first. Okay, all right. Actually? Yes. 
No. The winner goes second. Okay. Okay? Ready? Rock, paper, paper scissors, scissors, shoot. Rock, paper, 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 scissors, shoot. Okay, one one on one, one on one. One on one. Okay. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Ow! Okay, okay. Okay, okay. Give me a second, give me a cool down. I can't stop laughing. We're one and one. Okay. Next one wins. Okay, ready? Rock, Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Okay. Hey, you. I cheated. <laughs> yeah, hey, you fucking honestly, totally honestly, cheated. Hey, but I put my hand out there way before. That was a total was, cheat. Total cheat. But you could have you could have capitalized on it. You know I did my it reactions before. are not that good. Okay, we'll do you know it again. My, we'll do it again. No? That's fine. Okay, ready? <laughs> you won fair and square. You won fair and Holy square. Fuck, dude, John sent us 13 videos. Jesus Christ, John. Brother, wow, brother dude, Jordan. I, see, now this is this is the testament that my stamina levels need to go up because I'm tired after that. Okay. Should we, should we react to John's videos? <laughs> so the, the test that we did my test. is... Um, also... Actually, you want to go ahead and tell them the test that we yeah, did? Yeah, viewers, viewers, both of these tests we will leave in the description below. <sighs> we want to see your results. I want to see this shit. Send me... Your personality trait, or not me, but the, the dungeon DM, okay? Send me the personality trait, and also... Just send us your results This is of the a test. sex test. What you like in sex. It gives you all these fucking categories after you answer it of things it to says be, you like. To be fair... It's mostly bonded shit. Yes, it's a BDSM test. You have to test. have some kind of kink. You can't would, be no vanilla ass I bitch. would not say a sex test. I agree. I would say it's more of a BDSM test because there were a lot of questions on there. Um, I'm sorry. There were a lot of things on there that I think they could have shed more light on. You know what I'm saying? Very, a lot, very vague stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I would love to see. I'd love to see it. Oh, well, you want to go ahead and take a guess at all? What your top one is? Well, my top one is? Okay. So looking at the list... Um... Your top one is submissive. No. What is it? I'm a switch baby, 100%. Really? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That was me. Dude, that's me. That was me. Wow. Okay, what's your second then? Rope bunny. Damn, daddy. Let me tie you up, baby. That's 85%. Oh, big jump for you, brother. Pretty big jump. 82 percent. Okay. I'm a rigger. Rigger. He is rigger certified too. This is perfect. I am rigger certified. <laughs> it's perfect. Seventy nine percent dominant, and sixty nine percent submissive. Fifty seven percent experimentalist. Now, how far am I going? I would just go till you hit vanilla. Fifty six percent vanilla. I felt like though that number was a lot lower last time. I feel like it was. I really do. Now, we know my memory does not go that far back. I feel like that number was a lot lower. I feel like it was as well. What changed? Did you try everything you wanted recently? You said, ah. Uh, she took on my feet while we were fucking laying like it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they, didn't, they didn't talk about no feet on the, on the test, I will say. I know. I know. It was mostly bondage, and if you like... I'm not even going to say it. You guys can just look for yourselves and send it to us. Yeah, yeah. But no, I think you're totally right. If if my memory does not fail me, which most likely will. Um, that, I felt like it was a lot lower. That number was a lot lower. Yeah. How long ago was that? Like, Roughly around two, two years, years ago, ago or so? Yeah. Hey, a lot can change. A lot. A lot can change in two years. A lot can wow. change in two years. You're totally right. Um, also, on the test, we put to do the long questions, like the... As many questions as possible, the most detailed ones, right? Yes. That's that's the one we did, just so everyone knows. We want the answers. And if we can post them, just not tag you. <laughs> we won't tag you, and I'll fucking block your name on everything. Don't worry about it. Okay. So mine was Switch, 100%. And Switch, everyone, is... I like Nintendo. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's like you could be the dominant one or the submissive one. It don't fucking matter. And I totally agree with that. You know, I like to be pinned to the flow. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I like to be pinned to the flow, baby. And I am 92% experimentalist. Wow. Yeah. And 87 rigor. 
84 degrader. Damn. Shut up. Damn. <laughs> Shut up. 84% degrader? Leave me the fuck alone. Damn. Fucking Not judging. Okay, 79% dominant. 78% rope bunny. That means I like to get tied up? Yes. 79%? Mm-hmm. Okay. What's brat? I'm 76% brat. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's um, you talking back to your, to your dom. Uh... Oh, see, Brat Tamer. See, I think Brat Tamer should have been higher. Okay. I like that better. I'm going to switch those, even though it's lower. It's 57%. 76% was Brat. 76% Submissive. 70% Sadist. And then 68% ma- ma- Masochist. Masochist? Masochist. Masochist. So I like to deal and get dealt pain in my ass. Literally and figuratively. 57% Brat Tamer. 43% Vanilla. Yeah. Now, now if I recall, I remember my vanilla was way higher. Was it? I think so. I think it was in the sixties. Now, what's changed in your opinion? Sex. Okay, there you go. <laughs> but anyways, yeah, that was it. I'm a hundred percent switch, which is honestly probably the best. The best. It's you know? ni- it's nice. It's nice. Not that I'm a sex haver, I'm a virgin. It's just, you know, it's what I would have if I was having sex. But I'm a virgin, so. Completely agree. No me toque, soy virgin, okay? Don't touch me, bitch. No me toque, soy virgin. Yeah. Totally. Remember I said that shit on the radio one time? I was dying, dude. On the radio? Yeah. Oh, the radio at work. Yeah. Gotcha, gotcha. I was cracking up. I was like, no way you got called back to your rock. did (laughs) Did I ever tell you that Eiffel Tower story? On the radio? No. So I learned what Eiffel Tower meant like co- four years ago. Uh huh. So all the time they'd be like, hey, you want Eiffel Tower this truck? Hey, let's go get this truck to have a tower. Hey, let's have a tower of this. So we just kept saying it and then we got like a new boss and we said that. Hey, let's have a tower of this truck. And this guy, the guy said on the radio, don't say that. I know what you guys are talking about. Never again. It was the funniest shit. Yeah, Eiffel Tower, baby. You're just oh, waiting yeah. for a knock on your door from HR. I mean, I've gotten the knock before. Did I ever tell you about the roast room? Probably. So at work? <laughs> <laughs> so this is before that we were friends again because uh, I cut you out of my life because you're a piece of shit. <laughs> Just kidding. Memory fails me on that one yet again. Remember there was, a, there was a time gap where I had moved out of my place and I had moved far away in Riverside. Oh, oh yes, yes, And we yes. just stopped talking, you know? Yeah, I never went to that place. Things just happened, you know? And it's not that we stopped being friends, it's just we stopped talking, things happen. And life, we, life happens, it'd be like that. We rekindled. Life happens. We, we, Holy shit balls, that fucking scared me. We rekindled, <laughs> we rekindled. Oh, let's go to the phone. <laughs> this table's not level. I don't think it's the table. I think it's more of the floor or the, the space we're in. No, it seems to be fucking... Actually... I'm just going to spread it out so it stops coming this way. <laughs> Anyways, um, before I fucked everything... What was that? Oh, the roast room. In my department, there was nothing but dudes my age. And on break, no one had... No, like, so we, our break was at like 12 o'clock and everyone else's break was at 11. So we had the break room to ourselves. And what do guys do? They just fuck with each other the whole time. They just okay. talk shit. It's all it's all guys do. Just talk shit with each other. So we would just roast the shit out of each other. Depends. But okay. I know, I know, but this is just some some fucking stupid guy shit, you know what I'm saying? All right. And I remember we would all just make fun of each other and all this stuff, and then this guy who would do it every day. That's the only reason I didn't get fired. They told me. He tattled on us cuz we roasted him too bad. And then they said, if you guys ever do this again, you guys will be fired. And then uh, they caught us doing it again. They walked in on us doing it again. Oh, man, I almost got cut. That was bad. But, yeah, that was the roast room. Miss it. Miss it a lot. No pity for a fool. And fuck the Gatorade Bandit. Bitch. Fuck that bitch. Maybe he needed his electrolytes. It was a girl. We caught her ass. She? Yeah. We caught her bitch ass. But yeah, I mean, um, I don't know. That's it. That's, that's it. That was all in my head today. I don't feel too good. You ready? Yes. Everyone, that was Daddy's Dungeon. Uh, remember, link in bio. Not in bio. In the description down below. Send us the results of your sex test. I'd love to see it. Maybe that's a little weird, huh? 
No. Send us the results of your personality test. <laughs> no, we want them both. Send them both. Anyways, this is Daddy's Dungeon episode 122. Um, new shit coming in soon. I don't know. Yeah, love y'all. Peace.